Adam was my older brother, so I've known him all of my life. We were always so close because our friends were like about the same age, so he would drive me to school and he was uh, he was my friend and my roommate. I first met him when he moved to Portsmouth. Met him by just moving in with him. Just was like, hey, I'm TJ. He's like, hey, Mosher, and hit it off ever since. <laughs> you know, just instantly a best friend. Instantly. He's a good friend. I knew him for about three months. Worked with him, lived with him, hung out with him, went out with him, did everything with him. We all lived together. We'd all go through the same, you know, nine to five work schedule a week and get home and it's just that's what you look forward to mm -hmm. you know just going home to all your best friends my roommate my co-worker uh, my wingman always there to make fun of me when i needed it and when i didn't need it adam Mosier was my boyfriend's roommate mm -hmm. and he quickly became one of my good friends just because hung out at that apartment all the time. Again, to me personally, was always so supportive, helped me with guy issues, I helped him with girl issues, um, ever since like middle school. There was nothing I could say or nothing he could say that we didn't bicker back and forth about each other. <laughs> Till a couple of months into it, but Adam was sitting at the, uh, towards the entrance, and I just got up and I extended my hand out to him. He didn't have to tell you, what he, you know, he was one of those guys, he'd give you one look and you knew exactly what he was thinking, so. You're going to be here for a while, we're going to be here for a while, we're going to make this work. And ever since then, we just surpassed the whole friendship and went right to the brother. Bright, fun, a character. He was an intelligent guy. We would just watch TV, Discovery Channel, just anything. Right, we're talking about a kid who studied actuarial science. No one even knows what that is. What are they doing? They'd be like, oh, well, you see here, that's the, uh, you know, that's how they do this, and we've never done that. Yeah, well, you know. Self-taught himself languages, and it was crazy. He just knew something about everything. Just crazy. I remember I decided to move out to out west of Colorado, and I still remember the conversation I had with him. I like, it's like, hey, I, I think I'm gonna head out. <laughs> and I remember him telling me, he's like, you better go. And I will visit. You need to go. He'd be like disappeared for, you know, 20 minutes. We're all like, you know, relaxing, you know, minding our own, and. All of a sudden, we just hear from a faint distance, Hey! I'm like, where's that coming from? And there he is, way up at the top of the highest tree there, just barefoot and all, giving us the wave. Back flipping off a 50-foot rock. He was just such a great spirit and such a big personality. To be around, he really drew people in, and he was so charismatic. He just made you feel special. That's, that's who he was. He would talk and he was funny. And yeah. He was the kind of guy, you gave him five minutes and you liked him. He just knew when to talk, he knew when not to talk. He knew what to say and he knew what not to say. <laughs> he like embodied everything that you wanted out of one of your boys and employee. You know, work, working in the middle of the ocean on a boat, and uh, you've got to you've got to rely on each other to a large extent. Um, that's the nature of that kind of gig. Is that you know you got to kind of watch each other's back for sure. He had this like wise, wise guy, smart ass smile. So, but he loved working with PJ. He loved working with his hands, stones, building things. Move that pile of bricks. And he'd like give me a smile. And it wasn't like 
screw you is like, all right, fine, but screw you, you know? He was a good dude. He, he could never be bought, you know? And I, that's what I loved about him, too. He was smarter than me, or he was funnier than me, or like, just more outgoing, you know? He, he was like the one that you would aspire to be in a lot of ways. He was his own person, own identity. He was just one of those dudes that made that kind of impression. Just be his own person. He had multiple different groups of groups of friends that he was, you know, close with. He was always so easy to talk to and just welcoming. And, you know, always genuinely curious what you're doing and, and genuinely impressed. And and he remembered things about you. So if you went back and had another conversation with him, he remembered details about your life or things that you know the last thing you talked about. He never didn't answer my text messages. He always answered my phone calls. Like, if I stopped by his house, he was always there. Every time I would come home, um, you could just pick up wherever you left off. That's why as a family, when we get together, we struggle a little, because he was a big part of the... <laughs> you keep it going, you know? Worth the room. Always the life of the party. It's really funny, he always has something going on. He never really sat still. Uh, how personable he was. He was able to chat up anyone with any conversation. He always had something funny to say. It always made me smile. He was always in a good mood, always just like jumping around, like, you know, ready to do something fun. <laughs> he could talk about anything, more so than I can, certainly. So. Definitely knew how to get everyone together and having fun. And we had lobsters, and we were cooking them, and just kind of hiding in the house. And we were getting ready to set up the table, and uh, everybody was here. We looked out, and he started a fire on the fire pit and set up chairs around it. And 15 minutes later, we had lobsters outside. So we, we, weren't, we weren't fighting all the heat and all that stuff, so. It was an event. Yeah. You know, he had that catalytic you know, action about him. Long story short, nothing really phased him action-oriented. He was always down to do anything, you know what I mean? Like, he was always, if we were like, yo, we're gonna go play wiffle ball, he was the f next one up at that, you know what I mean? If, if we're gonna go throw the football around, he's going down for the touchdown, you know? He's going down the end zone, just going up for a catch. A lot of times on weekends, yo, tonight, Friday night, let's do this. Um, ever since he was younger, I mean, he's like, just been like, kind of like an active person, like, doesn't really say no to much. I need you. I He, he'd be down to do what the group was down to do, but he also wouldn't be afraid to be like, no, I'm, I'm gonna go do this today. Adam was a guy who a lot of people thought of as a really good friend. It was like a, like a brother bond for me and him, which was, it was good. Adam, to me personally, was one of the coolest people I ever knew. And he was definitely a very loyal friend. And there are times when, if there are other guys out talking to me at the bar, he would kind of be like a big brother to me and tell him to buzz off in a way. And I like that about him, that he was a loyal friend to everyone that he came across. He would not hesitate ever to putting me in my place where I need to be. If I was over-talking myself or maybe under-talking myself, he would, he would let me know. Oh, I just miss him. Just miss, he was my best friend. I will never meet someone like him again. Go downtown Portsmouth, you know, so many, so many funny things. You just laugh all the time about just whatever. Something, something Ken did or something somebody else did in the apartment. I told him I loved him every day. Like I would tell him I love him, he's my friend. A character, this is a good guy. He's a great guy. We love him. I mean, he made everything so much better. Happy as can be. He had that down to earth appeal to him, and he always made sure I could be my best version of me. Yeah, he was awesome. Solid, solid dude. I wish that I would do anything to bring him back. He was the greatest guy ever. Definitely more than just an older brother, you know. It's one of the best for me. I think the way a big brother should be. But we miss him. He misses us, I'm sure. Crazy. 
He was fun. You know. Just make him make me laugh. You know, I always need to laugh. No matter what. 